Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Today I gotta grind a large maple stump. I gotta remove it. It's pretty, pretty large. And I'm not gonna make a stump cut on it because uh, then I gotta haul it to the road and I don't have no way to hauling it off. And so the stump's been cut for a while. Uh, it's been like nine months, maybe a year. It's probably been cut it's been cut for a while and uh so i'm gonna put new teeth i'm gonna change out a couple of teeth on the uh stump grinder real quick and uh hopefully chew through this sucker pretty quick I'm, it's um uh, on the outer edge it's the crown is lifted up the roots has lifted it up so i'm gonna have to come out you know pretty uh pretty wide to get it kind of level as far as the utilities they're overhead and there's no gas meter on this side so that ain't gonna uh, affect me none and uh, I always getting a call yeah you know these spam calls man all the freaking time oh, terrible 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 change out the teeth real quick because well, I hit rocks all day yesterday and uh, get this knocked out real quick I'm going to say hopefully man maybe I'm going to say 45 minutes really need some vice grips if you're going to do it I got these cheap pliers And the people that want to know, I run 1100 series uh, green teeth for the stump grinder. And I think that's one reason why it makes the bigger chips. And I love these uh, Milwaukee uh, M18s. You go, if you're in the stump grind, it's great to have. Put this back up.
And guys, that was a lot of, uh, <laughs> a lot, that's gonna be a lot of mulch. I mean, that's a lot of digging. It took longer than I expected. It was actually an hour and like five minutes. Uh, that's a lot of grinding. Plus I had to deal with the cameras and all that, but uh, yeah, that's a lot of grinding. I still gotta push this up and uh i'll take the blower on the, in this case i'll blow it all up but yeah i'm glad uh i don't have to haul this one off but uh i might have to i don't know Somebody asked me, he said, what do you like about the RG50, uh, the Super? There's two things I really like about it. First thing I really like about it is the blade. All right, like in this situation, I'm pushing all this up and uh, it gets into a bind and it gets, it's, uh, it, you know, it don't want to push. Well, I'll just hit the old four wheel drive right there and the front wheel starts spinning and man it just pushes it on through that's two things automatically that i like about it uh you know versus other machines that i've seen because i get in a bind a lot of times and man that right there comes in so much handy so if you're out looking for a, a stump grinder just keep in mind you want one with a blade and if you can't get one with a four-wheel drive this one had dual wheels i took it off because i just i just don't like them i mean you know they're great if you're going if you're working on the side of a hill or a mountain but other than that uh you always gotta un, you know take them off when you're going in through a gate and all that and i i don't care for that so but just keep that in mind if you're out uh trying to get a stump grinder or purchase a stump grinder or if you want to get into the stump grinding business that's two things i would uh i would encourage you to uh you know, look for it. Hey guys, thanks for watching the video. If you like it, hit the like button and the subscribe button and I'll see you on the next one.